Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Scott and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a custom steering wheel and custom airbag in a C7 Corvette. Hi, I'm Tommy. And I'm Kirsten. Watch Scott and I install a custom steering wheel on our 2019 Stingray Corvette. So guys, the first thing we've got to do to be on the safe side is we want to make sure we're going to be, we're going to be playing with the airbag today. So we want to make sure that we go back into the back and we take the battery loose and let it sit for about 10 minutes for everything to de-energize so we don't have an accidental boom in our face, okay? So we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to jump into the video now and we'll uh, take you to the back. We'll disconnect the battery and uh, we'll go from there. I'm sure you all know, but if you don't, uh, the battery is located here in the very back corner of your C7. And it doesn't matter what model it is, they are located right here underneath this carpet. So as you can see, I reached back here underneath the carpet and you don't want to just pull straight up because you're going to end up tearing the carpet because the carpet actually goes underneath this skirting right here. So what you want to do is get your hand underneath the carpet and lift up and then lift, get underneath. I, my hand, my other hand is way up over here already and I'm going to pull the carpet kind of out of the way here. So this carpet, you can tell it's at 19, it's never been out before. So you're just doing that so you don't end up tearing, tearing the carpet. Just like so. It's like that. That way I might be pulling it back a little bit more than I need to, but I'm just trying to make sure that you can see that. Let me see if I can get my light over here so you can see that. You can see right here that this is the, the covering right here that we're going to take off that reveals the battery right here. Now all we need to do is to take off the, the negative cable off the negative post and then let it sit for about 10 minutes. Okay, so now we've got the battery exposed. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take the negative cable loose here. Okay. Get it loose. And then we're going to go ahead and pull the cable off. And then I'm just going to wrap this up here so the, the terminal will not touch the battery. Okay, so now at this point, the car is de-energized and we're just going to go ahead and wait about 10 minutes. Okay guys, so the first thing that we've got to do is we've got to be able to remove the airbag so we can actually get to the screws to be able to pull the seat steering wheel off. So I have these they're, they're basically nothing more than uh, Allen wrenches that have a little round head on them. Hopefully you can see that. And so these are just made so you can be able to catch the Allen heads at different angles. But these work perfect for being able to get up inside. There's two little holes on each side of the steering wheel here in the back. Hopefully you're each one of the cameras, I've got Tommy's got a GoPro on the passenger side here, so hopefully that's picking that up. And over here, if you guys are looking with the main camera right here. So all we've got to do is we've just got to stick those in there. Okay, so get my head out of the way. And you can see that they go in. Now if you try to do one at a time, it's a real pain in the butt, trust me. So if you push one in, and then pull a little bit out and then leave that in place then come over to the other side and press at the same time you'll be able to get it out then you'll have to be able to, should be able to pull this loose like that get those out of the way and it'll come right out okay if you try to do this one at a time, you'll be fighting this for a long time, trust me. Okay? So, at that point, hopefully you can see this here. There is 
there's two plugs. Now, Tommy, I don't know if you can get that right here with the, with the camera. Can you see those two plugs right there? Okay. Those little guys are the two airbag connectors that you're going to need to be able to... Maybe I can pull it a little bit loose there. Okay. And this one happens to have the same little clips on it that are on part of the seat, seat clamps. If, you've had, if that video aired before this one, you'll be able to see it. But there's... Maybe if I can get my fingers out of the way. See so yeah, a little red clamp right there. There's one on the other side there and same on both sides. You're going to be able to clip those, just lift those up with your fingernail. You may have to get, uh, you know, a small screwdriver or something like that to be able to clip those out of the way. Now I'm going to try to get it out with my fingernail, but I don't think that's going to work. I'm going to have to probably go get a small screwdriver to be able to, to get that. So we're going to give that a try here next. These clips are really, really hard to get to, so I'm going to come in here with with a screwdriver on one side to lift that clip. I'll come in with a razor knife on the other side here. There's not a lot of pressure that you have to apply. It's just you got to lift them up. There we go. Just like that. There we go. Okay, so now we've got our two airbag connectors loose okay and then we've got one more connector down inside here I don't know if you can see that Tommy and this is just a pinch connector right here you're just gonna pinch that and it'll come right out like that okay so these connectors look almost exactly like the same connectors that are on the seat belts okay and that's funny how that works so now we're gonna do something that I didn't do in my last video um, we're going to take the, the seat, the steering wheel off, uh, of course, and we're going to transfer all of the buttons and this, the face plate from this steering wheel over to the new custom one. But we're also going to take this seat belt, or I mean the, uh, the airbag assembly itself, we're going to take it apart. And we're going to put the bag inside of this, of the new housing. So, um, that's something that I have not ever done before. So this is going to be fun. So, um, it uh, looks looks like it's pretty self-explanatory, but um, you guys are going to see it for the first time just like I am. Okay, so we've got our airbag here, and we've got our new fancy one. It's all, all nice white leather, white and black leather. And you can see that this is what they sent us. They sent us one that's just got the, the housing. So we've got to take the airbag out of here and put it into this one. So I'm thinking, I'm hoping that we can just take the guts out of this one and just transfer it over. We're going to find that out here real soon. So we're going to pray this thing doesn't blow up in our face. <laughs> I'm thinking, Tommy, maybe you should have uh, just just painted this part of it. <laughs> 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 yeah, that would have been nice. <laughs> okay. So now we know that these little snaps have to come unsnapped, right? All the way around here. So there, we're going to attempt to try to push these through. <coughs> And they're, they're moving. So far, so good. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So our bomb didn't go off yet, guys. <laughs> so now it looks like this is just a, a bomb wrapped up inside here. So it looks like we should just be able to, I'm assuming we should be able to keep the old one. We, we can keep, keep our new one. one. Stretch this a little bit. Maybe that's going to be a two-hand job. Yeah. Let's see what happens, guys. Ooh. That is just all bag compressed down in there. So we have to be careful not to, uh, like, unwrap it. So yeah, it's just all compressed down in there. Tommy, why don't you try to hold that? There you go. Just trying to wiggle it out here, guys. Draw a stop it There we go. That. Come on. This is uh, probably one of the most scary things I've ever done in my life. <laughs> okay. All right, well, it came out in one piece. That's real, always good, right? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull this tag out of here. And we're going to go ahead and push it back in. Jim, if you see this right now, please don't yell at us too bad. All right, look at that. All right, so we're good. All right, so now at this point, take our backing. And I'm just squeezing this back together to get those little, those little nubs put back in the hole and they're popping in really good there we go just like uptown We got a working airbag again. Okay guys, now the next step after we've got the airbag switched over, we're gonna go ahead and use our, 50, our T50 Torx here to take this screw loose. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hold the steering wheel with my legs here to keep it from, from twisting. And this thing is 
a monster. It's super tight. So, mm, man, Let's see if I can Let's see if I can get it here. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, let's see here. I remember this being tight, but I don't remember it being that tight. Holy crap. Let me see here. Is there a set? There's no, be... there's no setting. There's, there's no power setting. There's no power there? setting. It's. <laughs> Look, it's even R for reverse. That's it. So. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. There's got to be a setting on that, right? No. That's how mine is. It's just, get it. There we go. It just moved. Yeah, just a little bit. It's like just inching. I don't get it. Let me try the uh, the ratchet now. No. All right, back to the ratchet. Ooh, and wonder, this thing is hot I too. Guys, let me show you this really quick. Look at that. That is a brand new T50 Torx that just came out of this kit. Okay, oh, look at that. It just snapped it. Just, I mean, that's a lot of impact. I'm. This is like five minutes ago, and this is almost too hot to touch still. That was the amount of power that was coming off of that impact gun. And we were, and as you can see here, that is the impact that we were using. Isn't that crazy? So somebody got a little carried away with their uh, with their goop <laughs> on the Loctite on the steering wheel. All right, well, now we're going to get back to the rest of the show. Okay, guys, we started out, as you can see, we started out with me starting to turn it, just like I had always done before. And we didn't, and it started to move, but then it got locked up, and it was not going to go. So, um... We actually went and got a brand new T50 Torx as well as an impact gun, a half inch impact gun. So, because we were thinking that maybe we're just, you know, maybe they've put a little too much goop in there or, you know, maybe we're just weak today. But we went in, we did that, and we bought brand new T50 Torx, got it here on an impact gun, 
And as you can see in that video, what we were doing there, and it just barely was spinning. Now, we've got it to the point where we've put some penetra penetrating oil into the threads, and it's starting to move. So we're gonna, we should be able to get it off now. Um, but man, alive, I'm not exactly sure. I can't wait to see what these threads look like. I'm almost wondering if these, uh, if this one was cross-threaded at the factory. So I'm not really sure yet, but I uh, just wanted to show you that before we actually got it out. And I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to hold the steering wheel for Tommy um, as he tries to get this thing loose. And we've broken it free pretty much here, but we actually snapped the T50 Torx right in half. So that's crazy. That is not normal. I can tell you that, guys. You can go back and you can look at my video. Hopefully, maybe I can find that clip and I can add that part in so you can see how easy it's supposed to come out. Um, but, yeah, this is a little bit crazy. So, um, man, those threads look good. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. But it uh, they must have put a lot of Loctite in that, baby. That's all I can say. GoPro stop video. Okay, so now that we finally got the bolt out, okay then you can see it's free but what we want to do is we've got we've got a connector here now this one will just pass through once we disconnect the main circuit uh plug for all of your uh, control buttons so there's a little little uh, uh spot right here that you can press in little tab and you press in and you pull that one completely out like so okay you can see that it just comes loose all right now at that point you can start to pull the steering wheel free. And then the hole that the big plug was go was taking up, your airbag lines can actually go right through it. Just like that. Okay. All right. So now we've got we've got our steering wheel free. Now what we've got to do still is we've got to transfer the, the all the buttons and the faceplate from this steering wheel over to the other one. So that's the next step. Now, if you watched my video before, I had bought a brand new factory wheel. It came with all the stuff. So that's that we're gonna have to transfer all this over to that one. We've gotta take this faceplate off. So we're gonna just peel this up, and this should just pop out. There we go. So he's got a little bit of a leather wrap here that's going over this edge, so we just have to peel it back a little bit. Just like that. It's just pressed in. You don't want to reef on it too hard, just a little constant pressure, and it'll, it'll come loose. Okay, just like that. There we go. See, just like that. You can see that there's plug-ins right here, right here. We're gonna have to take all this apart as we go to transfer everything over. And this side has a press down tab on it on this side. So if we can get that to work with us a little bit, then we'll be able to get this one out. It's like that. Now we can actually get in here and actually see what we're doing. This one's also got a press on tab, but I couldn't see that before. So press tab here. Again, guys, you're going to want to just take your time with this. It's going to take a little bit of doing. like so. Okay, so we got that piece out. 
So now what we've got to do is we've got to transfer our harness from this wheel over to this one here. Okay, so we've got some screws we've got to move. I'm going to take the screws out of here for the, the favorites buttons and our volume buttons. And all this will just slowly come out as we start to do this. Okay. There's one. Okay, there's the second one. This little guy is going to pop right out. And then we've got, looks like this little guy clips in like so. And it looks like the, the paddle is actually held in place here. And that screw right there. So now we can transfer one of the paddles. Over to there. So again, guys, I mean, just, just taking your time. Okay, that works good. All right, and we're gonna do the same thing with this side. If you guys treat this guy treat this like just it's a bunch of nuts and bolts, you'll be fine. If you look at it like as if this is the most daunting task you've ever done in your life, then you're probably not going to want to do this. Yeah, so I'm just like I said, just take your time. It's all will come apart. It's not a big deal. Okay, just like that. Okay. One of these days, I want to change my paddles to red ones. <laughs> I bought extensions for these. Did you? I did. All right. Came with an extra screw. Mm -hmm. Came with a few extras. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we're good that way. So now, what we've got going on here is we've got some wires that are tucked away, and then we've also got our little horn connector that we're gonna have to pull out of this one. Have to pull this out of here. We're gonna have to move it into the other steering wheel. So this is just rubber here, so this should just pull up. I'm gonna try to help it out here instead of pulling on the wires. There we go, just like that. And then we've got one wire tie that's right there. I'm not exactly sure why they've got it there, but we're going to go ahead and we'll have to cut it out. That'll release the hardware. So there's the harness right there. So now we've got everything out of the original steering wheel. Okay. 
I did notice that there is a little mm -hmm. tab here that we need to transfer over still. So let's take a look at that. How does that come out of there? Looks like it's just layered into the plastic there. Just like so. So guys, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna plug this little guy in right here. That's plugging our paddle shifter back in. You wanna make sure that that gets plugged all the way in. Snaps in place, you heard it snap. All right. So that one's in there. Do the same thing on this side. We're going to plug this little guy in. Yeah, when I did my steering wheel, I got to cheat. <laughs> Everything came all brand new on it. I didn't have to do any of that. I just got to take it out, Ready put another one in, plug it in, and it was good to go. Plug and play. That was it. Now it's starting to look like a steering wheel. Yeah, right? take this little guy and we're going to tuck that little guy back in there like so. Okay, so we're going to tuck that away like so. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to snap this little dude back in. And that went all the way. That's good. And then let's see if we can get this one in. And that one went in all the way. Okay, so now, now it's just a matter of pressing this down. I gotta tell you, Tommy, this is looking pretty nice. Mm, super excited. <laughs> I think we got it on there. What do you think? Love it. This is what we're going to have, guys. Look at that. Isn't that great? All right. So now comes the fun part. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to set part. our airbag back off. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and put this back in place. There is a, these, these steering wheels are keyed. Um, if you can see that in there, there's an arrow right there. There is a slot. So it doesn't matter uh, if you forgot to have your steering, steering wheel uh, centered or not. Uh, you're not going to screw up. You can't move this anywhere but in the slot that it goes. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and jump back in the car with the steering wheel. And we're going to see if we can get it all tightened up. All right, guys. Now the moment we've all been waiting for. I know Tommy has been. That's for sure. All right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to slide our our two airbag cables back through the hole here. Okay. Okay, 
it to come through. All right. And you can see there's just no way that it goes in any other way, right? So then we screw it all the way down. Our airbag wires are nice and, nice and free. And we're just going to take this one plug. We have right here, okay? Take this little guy and we're going to plug it in. It's like so, okay? So now at that point, what we need to do is we got to put that wonderful bolt back in. Now, normally I would say put some Loctite on this thing, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're going to need any Loctite at all, ever. Um, and it's just going right in like it was like butter, like right? Yeah. yeah, this is great. Okay, this is the way it's supposed to go in and out, guys. Okay, at least at this point. Let's hope that it... I want it to snug up some. But I don't want it to be so tight that we could never tighten it up. That was nuts. This is the way it's supposed to be. They just got a little too carried away with the Loctite. And as I'm doing this, it's getting tighter. You can, you'll feel it. It'll get a little bit tighter. And then you'll be able to snug it up. Okay. Now at that point... You should be able to pull it back and forth. You don't hear any flopping around. No give. That's the way it's supposed to feel. Okay, so now at that point, all we need is the airbag. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. All right, so now, the other thing we need to do is we need to take our little plug, and we have to plug it in over here, okay? Okay. like so and you'll hear it click and then the only other thing we have to do is you plug in your airbags okay and you'll see that they're they're color-coded so there's no way you're gonna screw those up purple to purple pink to pink if your colors are different that's fine they can be a lot of times they use a yellow and orange it doesn't matter but this end will always match the other end of the airbag so depending on what year it is you make sure that it's color to color okay so then at that point you're just gonna plug them in All right, so now at this point, all we're doing is we're just inserting the airbag. And you hear it click, you're good to go. And I got a little mark there. I'll have to wipe that off. It's all good. All right, guys. So there you have it. Um, this took a lot longer than we expected it to because of that bolt. Um, I'm hoping, and I have never seen or heard of a bolt taking that much that much torque to get loose. Um, so I don't think that you're going to have that to deal with. But, you know, if you do, you know, you're just going to have to deal with it. But your biggest, your biggest trick right off the get-go is going to be to go ahead and use like a, a half-inch impact with a T50 Torx on it and just hit it, just and it should just come free. Um, and so at that point, uh, you, you shouldn't have any more problems. Again, it's just step-by-step. And nothing else, nothing else you're going to have to do. Just piece by piece by piece. That, that's it. So um, at this point, um, we'll hook the battery back up and uh, we'll re-energize everything. We'll probably have to reset radio settings and things like that because we've had the battery loose as long as we've had. Um, but I think it was well worth it. I think this is beautiful. Um, the other video that we just got done filming before this, uh, we put white seat belts in this. And I'll put a link. In, depending on how I edit this, whether it's the seat belt one that comes out first or the, or the, uh, the um, steering wheel, I'll put a, a link to either one of them from that on, the, on this individual videos. That way you guys can go right to it and you'll see it. But uh, I think you'll agree with me that if you are a black and white person at all with these cars, this is going, I mean, this is just awesome. I mean, he's got everything that you could possibly imagine that's that's black and white. Um, I don't envy him having to keep them clean, though. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, guys, um, I hopefully you learned something. Hopefully this helps you. Hopefully it doesn't scare you off from doing this. Um, I'll also put another link at the end of the video to the steering wheel change out that I did. 
in case you're just going from a round steering wheel to a flat bottom or if you're going to a different brand and you're not changing all this stuff out uh, you'll be able to see that video and you can see how easy that bolt normally is that it normally comes out um, so anyway um, guys thank you for watching thanks for subscribing if you haven't subscribed please do um, and uh, be sure and hit that bell so you'll be alerted of our next uploads Guys, again, thanks for watching and you have a great night.